Hi, this is Shane, and welcome back to another episode of Peace of Mind. And um, I made the uh, the hopper thing. I automated the open crate. I followed a tutorial by the excellent Valen, Mischief of Mice, and he, I have to admit he is my go-to person if I need to learn something about a Minecraft mod, because he does explain it very well he goes through everything um he doesn't assume that you know any steps he will go i mean the series is called bit by bit and he will do that so it's like okay cool he like i said went through his tutorial so i have this set up now it should be working um what else I went into Serene Seasons. I w did do a search for it because um, Oso Gordo 3 mentioned that um, they thought that maybe when I took out Serene Seasons, it kind of made it stuck in winter, which is how I thought that's probably what's happened. So I did put Serene Seasons back in, but then I discovered I can edit the config file and I did edit the config file to say no snow or ice during winter because that was my biggest problem the ice freezing the water so hopefully although i've come over here and there's ice but um hopefully that will get me out of winter now that i've turned it back on and then as soon as it comes out of winter i'm going to take it out again so then if it's going to stick in any particular season it's not it's not winter so hopefully that will solve my problem with that. Um, what else? I also discovered that there's something called a season season clock that comes with the mod. Uh, season. All right, what of the seas? Season season sensor. I don't know what the season sensors do, but there's a season clock, and you can it will tell you what part of the season you're in. So I guess that's that's for winter. If I click it, it doesn't do anything, but it's white. So I'm guessing that's winter. And it looks like I'm in midwinter because it's right in the middle. Because you have, it seems like you have mid, you have early, mid and late or early and mid. Yeah, you have early, mid and late season. So, um, so yeah. I will have to use that to keep an eye on what's going on. I really don't know. There's no real documentation that comes with it. There is um, a GitHub wiki, but the wiki doesn't say very much. So we'll, like I said, I'll just keep it in till it switches to something that's not winter, and then I'll take it out. So, um, okay, I think that's working. I do believe that's working. Uh, right, what we need to do, I was making runes off camera, so then we could make rods, the rod of the seas and whatever. Uh, let's have a look at the quest book. All right, so I want rod of the lands, rod of the depths and rod of the seas. We'll make those, we'll make the sparks, we'll make the catalyst, cat, catalytic converter and we will work our way across and see what we can do with these because like I said I'm not really a huge fan of Batania I guess I can see why people would want to use it but I'm not not liking this mod very much but we're doing it because I want to finish the mod pack I want to be able to complete it so um, I need this and we want to make Rod the C's was one of them Oh no, we need twig. Oh no, what did it want on top? A water bottle. Okay, do we have a water bottle? I don't know. Let's get some living wood twigs. Oh, this is gone. That just despawned. That means the rest are going to despawn soon. Uh, living wood planks. 
and we need to turn the planks into no is it diagonally or do we need a bigger we might need a bigger thing oh no i didn't want to do that did i just pick that up i hope i did living wood twigs oh it's up and down and it's not the planks is it the logs oh it's just living wood okay do we just have living wood we have eight oh good grief all right we need three to make the rods oh we need a water bottle uh we got one bottle let's just fill fill that with water we got that okay see what no it does that sometimes you'll type and it will jump out uh, rod of the sea here we go um there was rod of the land i think was the next one uh, rod of the lands yeah that needed the dirt and what was the last one? Rock Bell. What's Rock Bell? Craft a dirty earth, a dirty stick, uh, Rod of the Land. <laughs> That's quite funny. And what was the last one? Uh, Rod of the Depths. D E P. And we need, what are we missing? Another rod, okay. Living wood. All right, we have everything else. Thank you. And okay, land places dirt at the cost of mana. Depths places cobblestone at the cops uh, at the cost of mana, and seas places water source blocks at the cost of mana. Okay, it's nice to know that. I, I mean, I'm at the stage in the game where I don't need to do it. Rod of shifting crust, rune of sloth, mana diamonds, autumn air sloth okay uh leaves spider eye rune of fire rune of air okay i'm pretty sure we can do that rune sloth um autumn leaves air and fire and spider eye do we have any leaves we do we have tons do we have any spider eyes we have two that's fine we only want one um we have air and fire autumn is fire air leaves and spider eye any of these have no that was the only one okay that was interesting or maybe because it was closer to the mana spreader it um got used up quicker maybe I don't know. All right, so. Let's divert this mana spreader to the runic altar. 
I was thinking maybe I should move the maybe I should move the runic altar to over here. Yeah, I think I should. And then once I use up all this, all the mana in here, I will. Where's the runic altar? I will switch it across. Okay, this is what bind mode. So bind this to the altar. There we go. And then for sloth, we need rune of autumn. Three leaves, air, fire, spider eye. Okay, three leaves. Uh, air, fire, spider eye. Now you didn't like that one. Where's the leaves? Why does it not put it in? Why does it not put it in my um in my inventory? Not in my inventory, but like in my hot bar. Fire, spider eye. Um. It never puts it in my hot bar, which is annoying. Okay, so now that's working. It's going up pretty fast. We need a piece of living rock. Uh, living rock. We know have living rock? No, we don't. Yes, we do. So that's going up. That's going up slowly. That's fine. Alright, these are working. That's working. We need mana diamonds. Uh, we need two. Okay. That's still going. It's going, although very slowly. But that's fine. Alright, what else do we want to do while we're waiting? Uh, catalytic, catalyst, oh. Alchemy catalyst. Alright, living rock, brewing stands and a mana pearl. We should have an ender pearl in here. All right, so we've got that. Brewing stands. How do you make brewing stands? Is that? No, that's not thinging yet. Brewing stands is... Um, I usually don't make them. I don't know how you do it. We've got one. We need two. Oh, stone and... Oh, that's simple. Right, alchemy. There's that. Claim the loot chest. Uh, the sparks. Gold nugget and mystical petals. Uh, mystical do we have we have some can we use any I saw red pop up so let's see if we have any red mystical petals all right we have two mystical petals Um, da, 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 da. what did we want? 
It wasn't, no, it wasn't the alchemy catalyst. What was the next thing? Oh, spark. Right. All right, spark, Britannia, corp, okay. Oh, it doesn't really matter as long as it's something. So I only need one, right? Cool. And we get three sparks back. The terrest terrestrial agglomeration plate. To create terra steel, you need to make the terrestrial agglomeration plate referred to as tap. After you have created the tap, you place it onto a three by three checkerboard pattern of lapis lazuli blocks and living rock. See Lexica Botanica for image. The tap it requires a spark no a large amount of mana so place a spark above it near a mana pool with a spark so it can quickly get what it needs okay well, let's make the tap first to terrestrial well, what's that terrestrial orchid i have no idea what that does that give you color oh, it gives you red dye okay Terrestrial artifact? What's that? Terranzonite, Perido. What can you do with that? Biome Finder. Oh, we can't make it anyway, so. Uh, you need fire, air, mana, earth, water. A rune of mana is what? One, two, three, four, five mana steel and one mana pearl. Okay, do we have any mana steel? We need to make more. Uh, my saw. Oh, this is gone now. Ah, so this is going to stall. Um, we got this. All right, if I make another open crate. Oh, that was the right key. I was hoping to ore excavate it and then realize I was pressing the wrong key. Right, let's get those. All right, we did make another open crate, didn't we? Um, that's a mana spreader. No, we made, there's another mana spreader, we, need, we want an open crate. Let's take the planks, open crate. All right, we need redstone, we need another lever. Uh, let's put the sticks back. Okay, let's see if I can reproduce this again. All right, you have the flower, or we need a, uh, a plate, a uh, pressure plate. Let's just make a normal wooden one. Okay, so you have the flower. You have a pressure plate. You have the open crate above it. You have, um, you have a space. Yes, you have one space where you have redstone. Then we have a piece of dirt. You continue the redstone up and over. We need a hopper. Uh, that's what the hopper looks like in this texture pack. And we need it to go, we need it going in there. Then I need the lever and I need the rotten flesh did I oh, I thought I was gonna break the thing put the lever there they should be on put the rotten flesh in state is on or off 
I always get confused with that. Because in it, like, state should be off. That's it. But of course, it's just dropping it all in. Why is it doing that? Maybe it doesn't work for that. Maybe it doesn't work for that. I don't know. Uh, which mode are we in? Bind. All right. There we go. And function. Maybe that's what it does. I don't know. And also we discovered that rotten flesh didn't do very much. It's sandwiches that it likes. That gave it a lot. Uh, let's give it half the sandwiches. There you go. Yep, yeah, that filled it up totally. Really? Really? And click. There you go. Oh, I get back my runes, which is cool. And what did I just make? I don't even know what I just made. Rune of Fire, Rune of Autumn. That's what I made. <laughs> oh dear, that's what happens when I multitask and it's like, yeah, what am I making? I really don't know. Right, so the rune of old autumn we needed for the rod of shifting crusts or something. Uh, molten core, shifting crust. Rune of sloth. So we wanted air, autumn and mana diamonds. So again, we want autumn, we want air, and we want two mana diamonds. Autumn, air, right, now that's working, that should fill up quite quickly. And apparently clicking it does help. It's not just like spamming it. It really does help. This should fill quite quickly. Because there's a lot of mana in there. And then we should... Alright, we need living rock. And we need... Our, um, our thing. Rod. Okay, so this is going very slowly all right what else do we need while we're waiting all right we're trying to make the terrestrial agglom agglomeration plate that's what we were doing terrestrial all right oh we needed a rune of everything so we've got fire we've got air we've got ma oh, it's the rune of mana we wanted mana steel that's what we were looking for. Right. I have all of these. All of these are now gone. So we can get rid of this. That's pretty full. Um, iron. Did I put... Oh, no. Right, can I fill this? My throwing skills, I mean, it's kind of like, they're absolutely rubbish in Minecraft. I have to admit, I can't throw, I mean, in real life I'm not too bad, but in Minecraft, I seem to be a bit rubbish. Right, how much mana? We have very little. 
So now we can take this and we can move it a little bit closer because we don't really need it that far. Let's put it here. There you go. And so maybe what we need to do is make another Gormarillus. Gorm 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 what is it? Gormarillus. And um, make one of those instead because they're a lot more economical. All right, how are we going with this? We are almost finished. We need a piece of living rock. Going pretty quick, okay. And um, we were... Oh yes, we made that, so... Oh, we, but we still need the altar anyway. Rune of Mana. I mean, what a Mana Pearl, which we had. Okay. Let's make another one. Is that a hole? I need to fix that before <laughs> before I fall into it and then can't get back out. Do I have any uh a catalyst? No. I'll sort it out at some point and hope that I don't fall in. Right, we've done that. Let's have a look at the Lexica Britannia. And the tap. Because it said the checkerboard pattern. And can we search? Oh, they've got advancements. Oh. Okay, can we make this bigger? I think the. Oh no, we can't make it any bigger. Alright. Um, rhymes of plenty, nether, Britannia. That is rather tiny. Biscuit and totality biscuit of totality. Oh you've if you throw normal cookies in mana, you get uh, a biscuit of totality. Okay, lots of stuff. Let's just be friends. Make a tiny potato and pet it. What? I won't even ask. Is this thing yet? Is this done? It's not, um... No, we're still... Okay, are we out now? Yeah. That's full. This should almost be ready. Let's just wait for the fireworks. That's the only thing, waiting. Not, I, not, I don't do waiting well. Don't do waiting well at all. Oh right, um, let's have a look in this. Miscellaneous. Blaze mesh, cacof cacophonium. Um, has the ability to mimic almost every living creature's cries in nature, allowing for the mus musician to play them at will. I think I heard it. Gold nut ingots and a note block. Interesting. Are you... Are you done? Oh, I thought I heard it do its thing. Okay, maybe not then. I think this I might have to feed it manually. Alright, we gave it two, and that's enough to pretty much fill... Alright, there you go. Now it's done. Throw that over, and... No. A bit closer. Throw it. And right-click. Really? Good grief. Alright, we get our runes back. 
Oh, my full. Um, right, hold that. So, what did we just make? The rune of sloth. Sloth. Oh dear. Right. Um. Right. Mana spreader. Bind mode. Shift click that and shift click the mana pool. So now that's filling again. Uh, crust. We need twigs. Now it's not going to work because it needs to be up and down. All right, clear that. We now have twigs. And we have the shifting crust. And um, you can use to swap out blocks in the world of ones that you have in your inventory. So it's an exchanger, basically. Building with this item saves so much time. Read out about the specifics of this awesome item in your lexica. Okay. I can't remember if we actually have block exchangers in this. But, um, oh, we're full. Okay, let's take out the house pet because we don't need that. Uh, the rods, we don't really need them. They're interesting to find out about, but I'm not going to use them. And let's open our three loot crates before we finish the episode because we've done quite a lot today which is good i'm quite happy about that uh gunpowder string and bone mending efficiency five and unbreaking uh wheat and a sheep pet okay uh what happened there Why did all of a sudden... I don't know why they all got... Did it land Did it land in the pen and they just ate it? It must have done. That was a bit random. But anyway, uh, we're missing a book. We have everything, we do. Okay, so thanks everyone for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.